So hello everyone, Grosser here, welcome back. Today we've got another video for the Unhuntables podcast series with Christopher. Hello. You should start calling me Christopher Christopher Coin Collect. Uh, Christopher Coin Collect. <laughs> Christopher Christopher, Christopher, Christopher Coin Collect. Collect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what my channel's called. <laughs> well, there'll be a link in the it's description to Christopher Christopher Coin Collect uh, if you want to go and check out his channel. I'm going to make sure I remember to put that in. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Who'd have thought? <laughs> Um, exactly. Anyway, what are we today, looking for then, Grossy? <laughs> we're searching through 5p coins today, um, searching for the year 1993 2018, which are both NIFCs, which means they weren't put out into circulation, just made for collector sets, um, and basically any territories coins or anything. And 5p's, it seems like we always do 5p's, but they're like my least favourite of the three that we do. Um, it's just so small and fiddly and just. But the only good thing about doing 5p's is that after doing a 5p hunt, then doing a £2 hunt feels really like weird because the coins feel so big. <laughs> yeah, I do, uh, it happens to be all the time when I do my penny hunts. I've done that for a while, but anyway, moving on. Yeah, just worth mentioning as well, we have had a few technical problems on our calls with the uh, signal guys we have to do with our cut then. Yeah, we will do that. But anyway, hopefully it should be okay now. I can hear Grossy fans, so I think it's his problem. <laughs> Who knows? It's probably Discord's problem. Neither of uh, our problems. <laughs> um, True. But yeah, and I was sort of um, wondering what we should talk about today. That something that is quite exciting is um, it's one of my first NGC Photo Vision Plus um, things that come through. Yeah, we were talking about that before we started recording. I said it'd be a good topic to go over because I had no idea what he was talking about. Yeah, so NGC, I don't know how they do it, but the photography that they have. I think they obviously photograph every single coin that comes in with such high quality and then you can actually, I think if your coin is the first of a type that they've, or the first of a year of a coin that they've had, they will release that image to you or you can mm -hmm. obviously pay a little bit extra, I don't think it's a huge amount, a couple of pounds or something to have it um, done and it's just, I don't understand quite how they actually get the photos to be such high quality. Um, I'll probably, I'll put a picture on the screen, um, it's a uh, 1799 uh, Pella, what uh, did you describe it as before? I can't remember. The, pe the pe Pella dollar? Yeah, that's it. Have Thank you said that in for grading and not even knowing what the coin is, Grease? <laughs> no, I didn't know you what it was when issues. I sent it in. No, it was because I was searching through a big <laughs> box of old coins. Like the, the best place to find coins is in like old boxes that have come from like grandparents and aunts and uncles and, and that sort of thing. Um, where the coins are literally assorted, you've not because if you buy a job lot on eBay, there's a likelihood that whoever's selling it has taken out all the good Picked stuff. through it already. But when it's like a box that's just come from family or, or whatever, you, you actually have a chance to find some real gems in there. Um, yeah. And yeah, if that was there, it seems like an old coin. Um, well, it is an old coin from 1799. <laughs> Thought it'd be good to get it done. Um, I did send it for conservation as well. So um, just looking oh. at it now, it looks like they've done a, a really good job with the conservation compared to what it Posh was before, cleaning. sadly. <laughs> I don't have a, a picture, but they seem to have removed a lot of the uh, the gunk from it, which is very good. Um, Did you get before pictures of it so you can compare? I didn't, unfortunately. Oh, I've, grossy. I should have done. <laughs> Next time, yeah. I definitely will. Um, so what you do, when you, when you get it back, just go rub it in the dirt, take pictures and send it back for more conservation. <laughs> well, <and> see <laughs> see how well it does. <laughs> yeah, see whether it drops um, but down no, that's, or uh, <laughs> But no, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what grade it gets, to be fair. Um, so these are just images not. that NGC take of the coins that uh, you can pay for if they don't want it or to do it already. Yeah, I mean, well, you pay to have access to the images, I suppose, but it's good because if you're then trying oh. to sell a coin, then you've got really nice, high-quality pictures to actually be able to sell it. Um, but yes, hey? I don't quite know how they do it. They must have a macro lens that literally gets so close to the coin, but the light is so even, it, it's just... Yeah, I'd love to be able to replicate it. <laughs> So, I mean, obviously I work for a coin dealer and um, next door to me is our photographer and it's, it's not as easy as you think to take pictures of coins, especially when you get looking at sort of modern proof coins with or nice shiny coins because light reflection, it's just, it's, it's an absolute nightmare and trying to get an angle on it to, 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 to make the coin look amazing. It is, it is quite, the, quite the task to do that. Yeah, I've just sent you some of the, uh, the pictures if you are in a position to have a little look, but uh, yeah, the way they do it is just unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> just the detail you get yeah, on the picture as, to try, as well, to try the... because it's, it's all about the shadows as well to show the details of all the different parts of the coin as well because um, obviously if, if you wash it out with too much light you can't see the edges yeah. and the 
relief and uh, all the design features, but the right amount of shadowing is, yeah, it looks, looks, looks stunning. I'm not sure I'd pay four quid for it, but there we go. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's a little perk that you get as well. As I said, if you submit the first one of a type, you get a picture with it as well, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, as I, said, I always say, if anyone wants anything graded, let me know. <laughs> as an NGC authorised <laughs> dealer. <laughs> I must admit, as I've said many times, I must say, I've said it many times, grading coins doesn't really do it for me. I like being able to handle the Z my coins, but uh, I get that there are some things that work. Oh, getting touchy, of course. touchy feely with your coins. Yeah. <laughs> touchy feely. <laughs> definitely definitely think about circulation. <laughs> oh, gross. You <laughs> stop digging. Anyway, I've got a topic for you. Go for it. Uh, you never come. You never come prepared to these videos anymore. Um, I never come so, prepared. <laughs> <laughs> errors that uh, are not errors that uh, we get messaged about. I'm sure you have an endless list of them. What are, what are some of your favourite errors that aren't really errors that uh, people contact you about, or that you see on Facebook um, groups? Errors, yeah, errors that aren't really errors. I mean, the classic is the memorial coin with no date on. Oh, that is doing my head, um, and I'm so sick of that at the moment. It blows <laughs> my mind. Well, I think what we should have done. We should have had like yeah. a family fortunes kind of thing. Uh, to <laughs> see if you can get the top answer. Oh my goodness! Our survey said. <laughs> oh my so god! This is a, it's a cultural reference that Gracie understands. That's blown my oh, mind. Of course. Oh yeah. Wait no, that's actually a first. <laughs> but I actually understood what you're referring to. No, I, see that sort of stuff is just about within my time because, although it was it was filmed about the time that I was born, so. Um, and then they obviously play them back. So I do have re re uh, recollections of films, uh, well, programs like Family. What was his name? Dennis. Les Dennis. That's it. Yeah. I can't, I can't um, think who does it now. Is it Vernon K or someone? I don't know. I think something like that. He's got a northern accent, I think. Oh, so he says. <laughs> <laughs> now is it down? <laughs> Just. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so, so then, the, uh, the the undated yeah. memorial coin, yeah, that's doing my head, and I'm so sick of seeing comments about that. Uh, the more I can <laughs> find in circulation in my coin hunts, the more I can say, "There's the date." Stop messaging me. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What's another one? I mean, I'll tell you something that oh, I did on. actually. Speaking no. of, well, I can think of an error that's actually an error. Yep. That I, but I don't have but. There is in Gibraltar. I'm holding up to the screen, so for the benefit of you, you wouldn't be able to see. But um, there is a uh, COVID-19 coin. My oh, camera's just gone out of focus there. There we go. Um, that Gibraltar released in 2020, um, and it says to commemorate the global fight against COVID-19. And there is an actual error on it, where instead of saying commemorate, it says commemorate, and they spelt it wrong. <laughs> no way. Which is quite interesting. Yeah, I've seen a couple. <laughs> That's amazing. So instead of uh, yeah, instead of commemorate, I was with an O, it's yeah. with an E. <laughs> how has, um, how has that got ones. through to be minted? Oh, that's an actual I have no coin. Idea. Some sort of it is an actual coin. It's not a not a token. It's a 50p coin from Gibraltar. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, the, the, the obvious top answer is, for me is going to be upside down edge inscription writing on a £2 coin. It still baffles me that people fall for that. Yeah. I mean, I did see once that did make me laugh someone put a picture of 20p that they said is undated and they didn't turn it over to see the date on the other side oh. <laughs> you see that though, my dad got funny. caught out on ebay um it was an undated 20p this is around it, it, it kind of been many years after they started to be, to be found in circulation and it was just a picture of obviously the reverse and i think he spent two pounds on it because he thought oh it's worth a punt to, to see it then and yeah it had a date on the obverse so uh, he got caught out on that, but he, uh -huh. he thought for two pounds, why not have a punt? Yeah, you never know. I mean, it's one of those, isn't it? You, you never know. It's the same with the buying on eBay, like. Oh. Oh. I was say that's something that people that's something that people say uh, is quite good to do is uh, when you're looking on eBay to get a really good deal is to type in uh, misspellings, spelling mistakes that people might have put their coins up, or weird things like uh, fuzzy coin or. Um, sideways coin or something, something that a non collector might call an error. That's true, yeah. And then I was going to say it's also worth taking a punt, not so much a punt, but just having a little search through listings like the Battle of Britain's. Just you never know if you're going to find one that's inadvertently been listed with an ILB obverse, for example, worth mm. like 
20, 30 pounds, and then you find it and buy it on eBay for a couple of pounds. It's always worth having a look. Or Benjamin oh, Bunnies with rotation errors. Um, ask sellers for pictures and ask if they've got mm -hmm. rotations and things. Um, yeah. It's difficult to say that for certain because how do you inquire about it without making it obvious then well, if it is an error <laughs> the seller would realise. <laughs> Um, <laughs> There's something more to this coin than me. <laughs> That's it. But to be honest with you, I have good success on eBay just searching coin and then auctions ending soonest. Obviously, there are some mm. absurd prices on there, but you do find the ones that do have bids on that you can pick up some uh, some good deals. To yeah. be fair, or the opposite end of the spectrum, the buy it nows that have just been listed. Of course, that's true as well. The, the bid sniping or buy it now sniping. To mm -hmm. uh, snipe them as soon as they come. I think I bought a, a Flopsy Bunny for one pound ninety nine with free postage. I don't that, which bargain. I think is an absolute bargain. Yeah. I had to I had to stop looking at that because uh, it was a, another uh, coin tuber friend that uh, got me onto doing that, and I spent an absolute fortune over the course <laughs> of a month. I couldn't. I think it was during the pandemic, so I was working from home, so I had my laptop off to the side and I just kept refreshing it to see what was new. And <laughs> yeah, the amount of nonsense that I bought was just crazy. Didn't you have a, a video about that going through eBay purchases? I'm sure I remember. You yeah, bought, like, yeah. A some of them, or something. yeah. Some of them were very good buys. <laughs> some of them I just got too territorial. I was like, I want this. Cover whatever the price Here's is. Here's a question. Paid way over the odds. Here's a question that I've just thought of that you don't have to answer, or you don't have to pass verdict. Are you ever going to do another wish video? <laughs> Quite possibly. Um, because they were very much, they were very good fun to go through all this tatty nonsense. Um, what was stopping me for a while was that obviously I moved and it takes quite a considerable amount yeah. of time for some of this wish stuff to arrive. Uh, I don't have any plans to move at the moment, so it, it is sort of uh, potentially a good, a good slot to, to go for on that. But um, yeah, maybe it's, it's, it's on the, on the cards. Yeah. I've got lots of videos. I've, I've got I, I, I've bought some uh, coins specifically for a, a, a new a, a new kind of video, a new sort of. Uh, aspect of coins that I've never really or field of numismatics which I've not looked into but uh, they've been sat on my side waiting to be used since then because it's, it's a bit more involved it's going to take a bit of time to uh, go through the coins before I can actually this, show the coins this, does that make sense? Is this is this an exclusive that I can put in my title? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can but no, you know what I'm like it might not see the light of day for two years so <laughs> you might have the 2021 Britannia two pounds in circulation by the time that happens. <laughs> exactly, yeah. We're, we're gonna have a new monarch by the time I get around to, to doing it. But uh, you know, as you know, what I'm like I'm, I, I make plans to do things, and then life gets in the way, doesn't it? If I had endless yeah. time, it wouldn't be enough time. <laughs> yeah. No, that's. Uh, I, I was gonna say as well. Just going back just a second. I also remember programs like Bruce's Price is Right, that sort of thing. I remember we talked about that time. Right. I, I'm, <laughs> And we just have to make. We have to actually just take a minute as well, just to reappreciate the fact that I understood a cultural reference. I know. I am blown away. There's, like, there's so Who'd many things thought? that uh, that uh, I just thought that everybody knew about, and then Gracie goes, "I don't know what that is." And it's just, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's shocking, <laughs> shocking. So, uh, <laughs> so there I, you I'm go. Proud of myself so for if, that. If they, uh, so if if they did do uh, a Brucey 50B, you'd know who that is then. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Well, there's, there's a there's a cultural <laughs> coin. Uh, I, again, I'm quite surprised he's not on a coin already, given that how yeah. beloved he was. What sort of anniversary? When was he born? Um, oh, I don't know. 1926. No idea. 1928. So who knows? Oh, that was 2028. Yeah. In 2028, we could. Um, yeah, we could get something. Years of Bruce know. also. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be. Uh, yeah. That'd be very good, wouldn't it? Yeah, exciting yeah. stuff. You'll have to go on a VIP <laughs> tour at some point to see, to see if there's any hidden bits of information and bits and pieces of upcoming coins there. <laughs> I reckon that's probably a bit too far ahead now. Because what we we were looking at, um, final topic uh, for this stream, uh, this stream, for this video, <laughs> um, we were looking at, it's quite interesting to see when you do the strike your own, because they have the little... Um, What's it called? A piece of paper, like a, a, a plan? Uh, when the, a when the coin was authorised. I can't think. Or... Yeah, they have like the actual specifications for the coin. Um, yeah, when, yeah it, when, when, when it was, it was signed off to become a coin. Hmm. And some of them were like 2018, 2019. It was just mental um, mm. to think that for as long as I've been in this sort of hobby and, and coin tubing world, 
those coins have already been about. <laughs> and they're only Definitely. just coming to light now, which is rather interesting. But uh, um, I can't remember what the response was, actually, because I asked one of the tour guides whether they have to be re-signed off with a Prevy mark. And I think the answer was yes. You said was yes. No? I, I, do, I, I don't... I can't. Be, I don't quite believe that because you don't get royal proclamations for coins with different privy marks. Yeah, and also, how would the monarch King Charles sign off the Queen memorial set with her? Because he's obverse? king. Because he's king. What? So he could just decide to have the previous monarch's head on it. Wait, well, he's king. That's his job to sign off coinage. Yeah, but doesn't if he signs it off, does it have to have his portrait on it? I don't think so. Well, obviously not. I don't see why. <laughs> yeah, no, that's interesting. I suppose he can do what he wants. But... Yeah. Mm, interesting. Because anyway, obviously there won't be as much of a lead in now with the, with the signing off of coins because obviously he's only been king for less than a year, so. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, you were wrapping up. I was wrapping up. <laughs> you stopped me in my tracks. <laughs> Let's go and see what five Ps we managed to find. And hopefully we can win another one of these coin hunts. So let's see what I managed to find. Right then, and that is that. So, <laughs> we got one territory, a Jersey 5P from the year 1998. We also found what I think is a some sort of strike through maybe, or weak um, worn die, where the lettering at the bottom left is sort of not there, but not really of any value or any interest. And then just a really nice shiny 1992 as well. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, also, I did grab these two out. So the one on the right just looks a bit frosted. I can't quite put my finger on it. But it just doesn't quite look the same. I'm not saying it's necessarily a proof, but... Hmm, bizarre, so I'll keep it anyway those two I just kept for comparison but yeah that's the um, lot from that big bag it's uh, a lot of effort for not a lot of reward <laughs> hopefully you've enjoyed though leave a like all that good stuff go and check out Christopher's video as well and I'll see you in a little bit bye bye